So today I'm pleased to introduce Lori Scarso, one of our Cleveland Clinic estheticians. Lori received her advanced esthetician license from the Brown Aveda Institute in Mentor. She joined the Cleveland Clinic Dermatology and Plastic Surgery Institute in 2017. At main campus, she manages the aesthetic corner, helping patients with product selection and education of multiple medical grade skincare lines. At the Beachwood Family Health Center, she enjoys working with cosmetic patients to achieve maximum results and long-term skin health through customized treatments and regimens. So I'm gonna turn it over to Lori to walk through her presentation. Hi, this is Lori. I'm an esthetician at the Cleveland Clinic. Chemical peels are one of the most popular treatments performed by estheticians. Our chemical peels include high-end collections targeted to address your most common skin concerns. Today, I'll talk about chemical peels. What are they? What are the benefits? What to expect? And frequently asked questions. The concerns we hear most are, of course, anti-aging, such as fine lines, wrinkles, and dull skin. Concerns of discoloration, such as uneven pigment caused by years of sun worship, acne and rosacea, a condition which causes redness and acne-like symptoms, are also common concerns. Chemical peels are one of the most customizable treatments that can help erase imperfections and can be somewhat stubborn. Additional ingredients added to formulas include pigment lighteners, acne ingredients, moisturizers, and hydrators. Your appointment will be quick, with minimum downtime and noticeable results in just a few days. So what is a chemical peel? It's a treatment in which a licensed professional applies an acid solution to the skin to exfoliate and remove damaged layers. There are three types of chemical peels, light, medium, and deep. Physicians use chemicals designed to penetrate deeper into the skin or the dermal layer. These are referred to as medium or deep peels. In contrast, estheticians use chemical peels that are designed to penetrate the epidermis only. These light or superficial peels are non-invasive and designed to treat the top layer or epidermis, not the dermis or live tissue. Exfoliation is essential in sustaining and restoring skin health. Chemical exfoliation works by loosening the bonds between cells in the epidermis. The exfoliating treatment sloughs off dead and dull skin cells, revealing younger, healthier, and a more radiant complexion. So how do they help your skin? They can help lighten pigmented areas, soften rough skin, and heal areas prone to breakouts. Once the dead skin cells are removed, the skin is smoother, clearer, more even in tone, and can also absorb products more easily. <coughs> Increasing cell turnover reveals younger, healthier, and more radiant skin. A chemical peel will effectively speed up the process of cell turnover. This is the rate of cell mitosis and migration from the dermis to the top of the epidermis. This process slows down with age. As you can see, the average rate of cell turnover for baby skin is 14 days. For teenagers, 14 to 28 days. For adults, 24 to 42 days and 50 and older, 45 to 84 days. Keeping the cell turnover going is one of the goals for skin preservation. So how do they work? Chemical peels regenerate the skin in two ways. They resurface the skin, stripping the outermost layer of dead skin cells that dull the complexion and replaces them with new healthier cells that keep the skin glowing. Two, this popular treatment also improves the skin on a more cellular level by penetrating the skin and stimulating new collagen production. This important structure protein maintains skin health and is responsible for keeping the skin looking young. If dark spots are your concern, peels can help improve them. Chemical peels can be used to lighten dark spots with added lightening agents, which help remove and even skin pigments. They will improve melasma or dark spots and discoloration caused by sun and hormones, freckles and sun damage caused by sun exposure, and post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation caused by acne, rashes, or inflammation. 
Chemical peels are great at addressing acne and acne breakouts. They do this by sloughing off dead skin cells and dissolve oil and debris within the clogged pores. A salicylic acid peel has both antiseptic and anti-inflammatory properties to help re relieve acne conditions and destroy acne-causing bacteria. As you can see, after one treatment, a chemical peel can make a dramatic difference in calming the redness and inflammation suffered by acne patients. It can also help minimize acne scarring. Although facial chemical peels are most popular, other areas treated include the neck and decollete. Chemical peels can help fade sun damage, improve skin firmness and elasticity, even out tone and texture, and improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles in the neck and decollete area. Up top, you can see a noticeable difference in lines on the neck after just one peel. And below, the sun damage on the chest has greatly diminished after a series of three. Eye and lip peels gently rejuvenate the area around the eyes while firming the skin around the lips to enhance suppleness and contour. Here is an example of how chemical peels can plump and enhance the lip border. They can also dramatically reduce dark circles or discoloration under the eye. A series may be recommended for maximum results. After your eyes, nothing reveals your age quite like the back of your hands. A chemical peel for hands reduces dark spots, fine lines and wrinkles, and other signs of aging to rejuvenate the appearance of your hands. In this example, you can see the difference in not only the brightness, but also in the texture and a smoother, softer appearance. What to expect after a chemical peel treatment? Any kind of peel will cause some degree of flaking or peeling with a varying amount of redness. The process usually takes between 7 to 14 days after the treatment. A broad spectrum sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30 must be applied every two hours to the area treated during the peeling process. Try to avoid sun exposure and pooling or picking the dead skin. You want it to heal naturally. Frequently asked questions. Are chemical peels good for all skin types? Yes. Superficial peels are safe and effective for all skin types, whether, whether you are dry or oily, fair-skinned or dark, sensitive or blemished. You should consult with your skincare professional about any skin conditions or concerns before treatment. Two, can you see results after one peel? Most people notice some improvement after their first chemical peel, but with multiple treatments, patients will see more dramatic results. Does a chemical peel hurt? During a chemical peel, most people will feel a slight tingling sensation during the application, some more than others. A fan can be used if needed during the treatment. The sensation is only temporary. How often should I get a chemical peel? Superficial peels can be performed as often as every four weeks. Many patients opt to continue treatments in order to maintain even skin tone and to keep fine lines at bay. What is a good moisturizer to use after a chemical peel? It is important to use a gentle non-comedogenic moisturizer, one that won't clog pores, until the peeling process is complete. This will promote the healing process by locking in moisture and reducing dryness or irritation. So as a reminder, please enter any questions that you may have in the chat and I'll dictate them to Lori to answer. We did receive um, a couple of questions via email in advance, so I can kick it off with those. So, Lori, if no peeling, if there's no peeling after the treatment, did the chemical peel still work? So the degree of peeling can vary between person to person. Um, sometimes it also depends on the strength and the, the strength and the formula used. Um, the healthier your skin is also, sometimes you'll get less peeling because remember, we're sloughing off the damaged layers. But regardless of the amount of peeling, you'll still reap the benefits of new skin cells and collagen production. Um, so a question in the chat, how do I know which peel to get? Well, the best is to um, get a consultation. That's the first thing that we recommend to any patient, especially first timers. Um, we can determine that by going over their history, skin concerns, and what we're actually addressing. Um, so that would be my recommendation, schedule consult. Um, another question we received over email is, when would you recommend a peel over a facial? 
Well, they both help to rejuvenate, exfoliate the skin. One more manually, one chemically. So I would recommend a stronger uh, appeal if stronger exfoliation was required or desired. Um, they use the peel will use ingredients that will penetrate deeper into the skin, as long as you don't mind a little downtime. 